yeah oh it's like that you know top notch is like that you know yeah. hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by if you just stumbled on this video by mistake or maybe somebody said to you you saw the link somewhere please subscribe to aberg and if you are old here if you're part of the squad what's up how you doing so today um, i'm going to talk about two things sort of but the first thing is going to be you know very brief because it's not i i, I didn't feel like to talk about it you know but then i saw it on on instagram and then the things started prepping me in my chest i'm like Ugh, i must just you know slide it in before i start talking basically I don't know where to start from. Basically, it read, Is it rude to tell my bridesmaid to lose weight before my wedding? Huh? <laughs> you see, I took it extra personal because I'm fat. So I can just imagine somebody telling me, Ah, oh, girl, I want to invite you to my wedding. I want you to be my bridesmaid. For you to ask me to be your bridesmaid, it means we are guys and we must have been friends for a while. So you will not open your mouth and say that me, moi, should slim down. So that I can be your bridesmaid. For what? So what are you trying to say that as I am like this, I don't look nice. That if I take pictures with you and the rest of your bridesmaids, it won't be fine. Or what are you trying to say? Because I don't get it. It is rude. And if you are my friend, please don't try it. Because eh, I will unfriend you. We will not be friends again. From that day, that will be the end of the friendship. And I will not come for that with it. I will not be your bridesmaid. If you are looking for skinny mini to be your bridesmaid, please choose them. Don't come and miss me and tell me to alter my body because of a ceremony of one day. Please leave it for me. If I want to be slim, I'm going to be slim for myself. Not for your wedding. Okay? A word is enough for the wise. Next. This Ashoye B issue. You see, a lot of my friends haven't really been married, you know, because I'm a young game, so a lot of my friends haven't gotten married, maybe like one or two, and then maybe one I didn't attend, the second one I did. To be honest, I don't know how to explain it, but Ashwabi really is not something that I've ever had to buy. That is my, it's my family member that's getting married, and my parents buy the Ashwabi and give me. Or it's my friend's friend, my boyfriend's friend, somebody's friend, you know, but not necessarily anybody that's very, very dear to me that I'll have to buy the Ashwabi per se. I had a friend that got married. I couldn't buy the Ashwabi because I didn't have money for it, but I traveled to another city for her wedding so i guess that really made up for it but she didn't really give me hell for not buying it so i didn't understand that it was an actual thing so apparently legit if you don't buy somebody's actual ID, they can unfriend you as in they have lessons to say yo girl you're not a true friend you do not buy my actual ID, blah 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 we cannot be friends hmm <laughs> actual ID. I should be that you will buy today, sew it, and you wear it, and that's the end. You never wear it again. Or you will buy the fabric, give it to Taylor. And Nigerian tailors will know how they are. They're so rubbish for you, you can't wear it. So you will spend 30000 Some people even, they are sure it's even 80000 50000 But that, the, the issue of price will come there later. Now I'm just talking about the whole idea. So I'm Yoruba. You know, so apparently it's your rap that started this. Ashwabi, in case you are one of my followers from the overs and you don't know what Ashwabi is, Ashwabi is like um like fabric that your um family and close friends wear. So for instance, if I was getting married and I said this is my Ashwabi, do you understand? I wouldn't be wearing this, but my friends, my family, maybe my sister's friends and well wishers or whatever, my brother's friends, whoever wishes me well, she would buy the fabric and wear it. So um, I think it's it's a way to kind of like make money for the wedding and also a way to identify the friends of the bride, the friends of the groom, because apparently that one too is there that the bride side will wear a different color the groom side will wear a different color can you see that this is a very foreign concept to me i don't even understand this i just go for wedding to eat small shops and go home like i've never really been immersed in like the whole planning process of a wedding till very recently to be honest my best friend is getting married um sometime soon so you know we are 
just you know talking about it but she is not an actually person so i'm not you know all these issues that i'm going to outline i'm not having you know any of these issues with her we thank god so hmm, as i was saying apparently if you don't buy it you are not a good friend you are a bad person and something else i noticed is that some people that are not even particularly close to the family or particularly close to people that are getting married still find access to this fabric and buy i even heard that some people beg no shade oh, no shade i heard that some people beg for the ashray they're like oh please i want to buy maybe i don't know especially if it's like a prestigious wedding you know maybe it kind of makes you feel like you are rubbing shoulders with the important people or something i don't get now to the issue of price huh. some people are selling ashray b for 100k now somebody will say hey you are not the target market if you are complaining that it's too expensive you're not the target market sorry how much is my salary that's how we bring out hundred thousand to buy somebody's ashray b that i would wear once that tailor can even destroy hey god if i buy you ashray b Mm -hmm. and it's 100k 80k in fact anything from 40k and above you must be giving me weekly reports on your marriage because i'm buying shares into that marriage i'm not just buying fabric i'm a part of it you'll be reporting to me what's going on are you pregnant are you trying for babies how are our finances this month because honestly I, i'm a shareholder because there's no example why 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 <laughs> also another one is that um apparently um the white wedding and the traditional wedding have two different ashway bees. Hey, hey, hey I usually see you know ashway, I did not I didn't know that the whites will have ashway bee tra I thought ashway bee was just for triad wedding and then the white wedding will wear anything you want to come or triad wedding is I don't even know what I thought but I didn't know that there were two different fabrics. So legit some people white hundred triad hundred that's two hundred and you say I won't be a shareholder you lie <laughs> I put it to you this day that you lie. I feel like I don't know. Let's see, maybe Sha, the the pressure to to be a big girl is just much. This Lagos can make you steal money from the bank or, or start doing some really precarious things to make money if you are not very strong-hearted. Because the kind of things that you see, everybody just wants to tension, 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 left, right, and center. Like, it's, it's quite intense, so, but anyway, <laughs> that's my two cents on Ashway B. My friends, they know, if you bring anything that, that I can't afford, I would always say, it, I can't afford it. There's no shame in saying you can't afford it. Don't go and borrow money because you want to buy Ashwabi and enter Ashwabi, Bella and Bella, Niger. <laughs> hmm. When the people that you are owing come and start attacking you, Bella, Niger and Ashwabi, Bella will not give you the money back oh, that you are owing. Don't borrow money for Ashwabi. Because after you buy your Ashwabi 50k, you will still sew it maybe another 30k because obviously, you know, you want to put on your Instagram that your your dress was made by April by Kumbi or your dress was made by Fablin by Derry your dress was made by who again do I know that I don't know if my attack is so actually because you get the point sharp people that make nice looking actually be that they will say hmm if you use this person you are a big girl please please and it's only women it's only women because men I think men just wear cap so they just because what i've noticed is i've never really seen men wearing fabric maybe they just wear white and then they buy the filler filler is cap they buy the cap and then they wait but women we buy fabric we buy gilly and you must buy matching shoe and this thing on your own or not from the bride and boom but you get the point anyway if you guys have any very funny actually stories please let me know in the comment section i really like to you know hear from you guys and hear what you guys have to say thumbs up this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed i'll see you guys in my next video